Now we're ready to see how to work together with multiple people on the same files. Anne and Ben from the last video have their own up-to-date copy of the repository. First, let Ben add a line to text file 1. Save the file. Commit it. And push the commit to the remote. Now let Anne add a line to text file 2. Save the file. Commit it. And try to push it to the same server. The push action has failed. Git also tells Anne that the reason for this is that the remote contains changes that she had not pulled yet. It also suggests she pull and integrate the changes from the remote. Cancel the push and you'll see that Git did download the changes that Ben pushed before, only the work that Ben and Anne did splits out from the last commit. Ben did one thing while Anne did another. The graph to the left of the commits illustrates this situation. Now we'll have to integrate the changes of Ben and Anne. Anne or Ben can do this by pulling the other's changes and have Git merge the changes automatically. So let Anne pull Ben's changes and see what happens. You see that a new commit is made which merges the two branches of the graph. And in the commit details, the automatic commit message merge branch master. Let M push this merge commit. And now let Ben pull. Let's take a look at the files. Anne's copy of text file 1 shows Ben's line. And Ben's copy of text file 2 shows Anne's line. Okay, so that works fine because both made changes to different files. But what happens when they make changes to the same file? Let's first see what happens when the changes are made to completely different parts of the file. Anne adds a line to the end of text file 1. And Ben adds a line near the start of text file 1. There is still just one way to add both changes to the file, namely at both locations where the changes were added. Anne's change is in the last line, Ben's is in the second line, so Git will still be able to automatically merge these changes. Ben commits his changes. And pushes them. Now Anne can commit her changes. And pull Ben's changes to merge them with her own. Now uncheck commit merge changes immediately to be able to decide if the merge is okay before committing it. This is generally preferable when merging real files because that way you are able to check the result of the merge and to fine-tune it if necessary. Also, when creating the merge commit, you can edit the automatic commit message to something more descriptive. As you see, Git did not report any problems with this merge, but handled it automatically, and can now push the merge. And you see that text file 1 now has both lines at their respective positions, just as if the edits were made after each other instead of at the same time. Of course, 
When Ben pulls, his file will be identically up to date again. In the next part we'll see what to do when changes are made to files at the same location.